Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue version. Last time I left you on a cliffhanger as far as this Onyx battle went, and pretty much right as soon as I stopped to the bay, I'll, the first Pokeball I threw caught it. Jeez. That is just plain ridiculous. Right as soon as I stopped the video, I catch the thing. Oh well. Adds another Pokemon to the Pokedex. Onyx, the rock snake Pokemon. As it grows, the stone portions of its body harden to become similar to a diamond, but colored black. So it turns into a dark diamond? Huh. Uh, oh, I know just what to call Onyx. Uh, let's see. I'd call him Solid Snake, but there's not enough room. Actually, is there? Oh, actually, there is! <laughs> Just barely, though. <laughs> that seems to be the case with all my Pokémon's nicknames that seem to be more than five layers long. Oops. <laughs> Solid Snake! Well, at least we're done with playing Metal Gear here now. So, how's my team doing? Oh, not so good. Batman definitely needs a healing after that. Uh, Super Potion, let's see. Yeah, that'll heal him up a bit. Tsunami seems to be doing just fine, though. These two trainers are completely optional, because one of them can actually be avoided. My Pokemon techniques will leave you crying. I think we're almost at the end of the rock tunnel as well, so not much more left of this, and this is pretty much the final set of videos of the rock tunnel. So this is, what, my third time going through this place? Jeez. I completely forgot about that whole lack of PP thing. Oh well, at least with confusion, Geodude might hurt himself. Or not. Uh, Tsunami, you're up. For some experience. Oh, come on! He didn't even get to hit himself once. You know, let's see how well Bubble does. Considering that's the weaker of my two water moves. Well, if it gets a critical, then that's definitely going out. So, I suppose that kind of negates my plans on catching a Geodude here. I care if you're a better technician. I'm not a technician, I'm a trainer. In mountains you often find rock-type Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Well, uh, wait. <laughs> wait, I didn't want to check my team, I wanted to check my Pokedex to see if I had already caught a Geodude. No, I haven't, so that's one Pokemon that I'll need to get in this place. Come on! Hey, Machop! I don't even remember if I've caught one of these guys yet. At least in this game. Uh, let's see, Karate Chop? Not that big of a deal. Nice job. I'll just check the Pokedex just to see if I have a Machop here. I thought I saw Macho. Yes, I do. <laughs> Jeez, really encountering a lot of Pokemon today. Oh, hey, it's Zubat versus Golbat. Who do you think will win? Well, it's the one with the overly extended mouth, of course, and the one that actually has eyes. Because that's a wonder in itself that Golbat grew eyes after evolving from a Zubat. Wait. Sweat. Switching out before I take on a rock type. If I went just one face to the right, I would have been able to dodge him. Hit me with your best shot! Okay, I guess I'll hit you with Bubble. A critical hitting. <coughs> critical hitting Bubble. Actually, I'll fight him to death. <laughs> or, not to death, but to fainting. Never mind. Fire gun it is. Considering Bite didn't really do its job that well, and let's see, there's Onyx. And 
bubble should probably weaken him considerably. Or just take him out entirely, so that pretty much throws out my ideas of getting a Geodude here with a level 29 War Turtle. I'll raise my Pokemon to beat yours, kid. In your dreams. If you couldn't beat me now, then what hope do you have for beating me later on in the game when I've superpowered my Pokemon to probably level 60? Because that's usually how high I train up my Pokemon before going to a Pokemon League. Sometimes even level 70. Uh, I don't need a match up considering I already caught one, so that one hit point was unnecessary on him. Only a couple more trainers left, I think. This time goes a long way, kid. And I'm pretty sure this guy has a Graveler that knows self-destruct. Yeah, I think he has two Geodudes, an Onyx, and a Graveler. Uh, that's my guess. Though I should probably know this by heart by right now, having done this twice already. But, oh, wait, yeah, I think I guessed the Machop. No, I didn't. Oh well, whatever, it doesn't matter. There's no award for getting all of his Pokémon guessed correctly. Maybe I should really use a Super Potion on Tsunami soon. Uh, two Geodudes, a Machop, and a Graveler? That's my guess now. Unless he doesn't have the Graveler. Maybe it's another hiker later on. Yep, he's not the Graveler guy. So first there was the Growlithe guy, and then there's the Geodude guy. Level 30! I think six more levels till Tsunami evolves? I don't remember, though. Don't you win! Watch frogs, it can put the squeeze on you. Oh boy, I know that for sure, considering I just caught one. Oh well, at least my team is still in pretty decent shape. Oh! <laughs> Snuck up on the trainer there. Uh, I'm just gonna check something real quick. Just gonna use water gun on this guy. Yep, six more levels before Tsunami evolves. Uh, I'll just go around this guy. Well, there's no chance of me catching this these Geodudes, considering I got like a 13 level advantage on them. Especially with my weakest water move. That would be the only thing t to even be able to put a dent in their defenses. Maybe I'm lost in here. Yeah, if you think you're lost, then you definitely are lost. Oh, I think maybe this is the guy that I was thinking of? I don't really remember. <laughs> all these hikers look the same to me, but... Actually, they all look the same, literally. Due to all trainers having, uh... All trainers of the same trainer class looking exactly the same as one another. Like, t you can't tell two hikers apart if they were to stand right next to one another. Okay, so two Onyxes and a Geodude. That's not repetitive at all, now is it? Oh well. Plenty well, of good experience for Tsunami. He's up, what am I doing? Which way is out? Who are you? That sleeping Pokemon Route, for, route, route 12 forced me to take this detour. Almost said Route 42. Oh, there's another guy there. That's probably the last trainer in this floor. Then it's probably, I believe, a clear run through to the exit to this place. Man, these Machops sure do like to hang in there. You know, maybe I should be using just Tackle and Bite on Machops and conserve my Water Gun and Bubbles for Rock types like these guys. Or at least trainers with Rock types like this guy. And I 
think this is the guy that I was expecting earlier to have a Grambler. Considering he's the last hiker in this place, as far as I remember anyway. Jeez, two level ups in 11 minutes. With draw? Uh, no thanks. I don't need that. Withdraw basically just raises my defense, it's the water type equivalent to Harden. There's that Graveler, I'm gonna take him out with Water Gun before he can explode. That's no good when a, a Graveler uses Self Destruct. I give! You're talented enough to hike. Yeah, I suppose I am, considering I've been able to complete this place three times over now. Okay, Zubat, I guess I'll fight fire with bangs. Nice. <laughs> well, I definitely know who's strong enough to take out Zubat in one hit with bite. Hiker sleep twigs his trail marker, so that's a very smart idea to do that. Be sure to so, remember everyone, the next time you go hiking in the mountains, be sure to stock up on twigs, so then you can use them as trail markers. Unless you're traveling through a forest where twigs are, are abundant everywhere, because then you'd just be running around in circles following all the twigs on the ground. Seriously, that would be just kind of silly. Uh... I guess I'll send out the Super Spear. <laughs> he needs... he really needs some experience to catch up, actually. Considering... I mean, he's probably like eight levels lower than... Uh, than Tsunami. And he needs all the experience he can get. Level 24. And Meowth. Yeah. So it's cat versus bird. You know, normally the cat would probably win in that this type of situation, but in terms of the game, the bird beats the cat. And that takes care of that trainer. And I pick up 42 for winning. I wanna go home. You know, I'm just gonna check something real quick, cause I really wanna know. I forgot who I... Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna see you in a second. Okay, and I'm back. So let's get moving, and... I think that's... gonna be the last hiker in this place, so... Just gonna take out this guy with bite. Then I'll... bite off this... Hiker. All right, flinching. Good job. Way to flinch, Machop. Haha, <laughs> can you beat my power? I'm pretty sure I can. Anyone that challenges me to a battle usually winds up in defeat. <laughs> so let's just use Bubble since that's my the move that I've been using the least of in this place, and it's. Just as effective as Wire Gun, which is supposed to be even more powerful than it. Than Bubble. And yet, due to my 10 level advantage here, I am pretty much just tearing apart all these rock type Pokemon. I wonder if I'll be able to take out a Graveler with a Bubble. That would be really hilarious. Then again, considering it's at the same level as those Geodudes, I'm not surprised that it went out in one hit. Oops, out-muscled. More like out-bubbled. I go for power, for power because I hate thinking. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll go against this guy. You have a Pokedex? I want one too, and he'll probably be begging for mine after I complete it, won't he? Ah, Slowpoke. I probably should have sent out Victory for this guy, but oh well, too late. Unless he has more than one 
slow poke, then I'll send out victory. Actually, I'm pretty sure he has three slow pokes. Thank goodness for disable found lane. Yeah, of course, uh, that time I missed with tackle. What would it having such a small chance of missing? It misses anyway. Uh, yep, he seems to have three slow pokes, to my knowledge. Oh! Level 13, that's not good. Uh. Super Spear it is then. Am I in a rush to level up? Um. Victory or anything, actually. But for now, I do want to level up Super Spear. Oh, come on! That was my main move for him. I wonder if he'll undisable right after this turn. Four hits. Oh, <laughs> called it. I so called it. A one hit fury attack, nice. And let me guess, yep, a third slowpoke. How am I not surprised? Okay, that surprised me. Wow. He keeps on disabling the last move that I used, even though it's supposed to be completely random. And he still thinks that he can disable two moves at once, even though the game won't allow that. Although that would probably... Yeah, it would definitely be unfair to the player to have two of their moves disabled at once. <clears throat> Especially if half of your moves are offensive and the others are moves that you never use. Yep, he wants my Pokedex. Just as I thought. Don't try anything funny in the dark! That would make so much sense if I had not used Flash. Oh, and Bellsprout, just like what Tsunami didn't want to see. I think that her second Pokémon is an Oddish. Ah, oh, jeez. Bear bite him. There we go. I'll switch out to, uh, oh, Clefairy. I was not expecting that. Okay, so I suppose I'll send out Super Spear to take care of this Clefairy. And I'll use Peck. Same type of attack bonus and all. All the Frickles. Those always help. Okay. Come on, keep pecking. Ah! Oh, this is definitely becoming a pecking party here. And that takes care of that junior trainer. It was too dark. No, it wasn't. It's... I lit up this cave, you silly. Okay, time to use an antidote if I have any. Oh, I still have four. Okay, so... Two more trainers left. This much I'm sure of. Junior trainer again, and Pidgeys. Time to tackle attack this thing. I mean, I've got over a 10 level advantage, and how did that critical not knock him out? Okay, let's go for bite. I think that's a stronger move. And Rattata, I'll keep him Tsunami out. At least this one didn't use Hyper Fang or Quick Attack. Actually, Quick Attack would've been smart for it to use it. I'm pretty sure it probably would have used Hyper Fang if I had knocked it out. Yep, definitely taking out this team real quick. Oh, I wanted to switch out to the Super Spear. Well, okay, never mind. That takes care of that. You play hard. And too much information, lady. Hey, he's hosted all the Machops lately. Okay, there's only one more trainer left, and that person's up ahead. 
and then we can finally be out of the rock tunnel and let this place be for the rest of the game completed and emptied out. Even though the RA was empty to begin with. Oh! <laughs> Don't tell me, is she gonna spot me right as soon as I uh, finish this battle? I actually no, I don't think so, considering there's a single space left. Oh, <laughs> okay, I was wrong. <laughs> that's probably the fifth time that's happened now. Okay, yeah, that's right. I'll use water gun on it. How many Pokemon did she have? Three, five, four? I'm not sure. So let's see. Three Pokemon, okay. Oddish, I'll switch out to Super Spear due to Heck being super effective against grass types. Which technically doesn't really make sense from if you think about it. How does something that can fly get in it? be strong against the grass. Oh well. I try not to think about it too hard. Oh, level 25. Couldn't tell because of that PSN. Mirror move. That's kind of good. It basically copies the last move that your opponent used. And basically allows you to use that move. Pidgey, yeah, I'll switch back to Tsunami since, well, Super Spear's gonna take damage from that poison. Uh, Bubble. I'm just. Oh. <laughs> okay, a water gun, and this should be over with. Yep. Okay, so that takes care of the last trainer of the Rock Tunnel. Ah, uh, Pokemon, of course you are. Yes, I did. Oh, pfft. I forgot to use the antidote. So stupid. Um. Okay, right after this battle, I'm gonna heal, um, Super Spear of his poisoning. So, let's see. There's the antidotes. Now, there's a whole group of trainers waiting right outside this tunnel. Hello! But I'm not gonna be battling any of them. Right now. Right now, I'm heading into Lavender Town, heal my team, and then head straight to Celadon City. Mainly to pick up another team member. Whom will be coming in handy throughout the game. So, let's see. I'll be depositing Flashlight, considering I don't really need him in the team anymore. Besides, that was pretty much the only place where you actually need Flash. The Rock Tunnel. I don't recall there being anywhere else in the game where you're required to use Flash besides Rock Tunnel. So, Flashlight, good job! Now then, now that my team is all healed up, I can head over into this route. <laughs> and how many Pokemon do I have in the Pokedex? 31. Do I have the uh, item finder? No, I don't. But I might be able to get it soon. Oh, this guy. Really easy if you choose Squirtle. He's a rambling, gambling dude. That much is for sure. Gambler wants to fight, and he has a Growlithe. And also a Vulpix, if I recall correctly. And I believe I do recall correctly, considering... Well, <laughs> if you've seen my last video that I posted, then you pretty much know for sure. And I meant to use Bubble, not Bite. But hey, they both begin with B, and... It still worked out all the same. Oh, I didn't want to switch. Got the A and B buttons mixed up. 
Oh, okay, so... Level 24 Vulpix are... Alright, they only have a single weakness, not a double weakness, unlike Geodudes. <laughs> I was wondering why Bubble didn't take him out in one hit. Gambling and Pokemon are like eating peanuts. Just can't stop. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, I think in this patch of grass you can find wild Vulpix. Along with Pidgeys, Rattatas, and some other stuff. Pretty much stuff that we've seen a ton of. Now then, up here is a full row of trainers that I'm not even gonna bother with at the moment. Because I'm gonna save them for my next team member. Uh, same for this guy. And that guy. Department store in Celadon has a great selection. So here's the second of the underground tunnels, and I'm not even gonna bother searching for any of the items that are hidden here. Although, if I happen to pick one up from randomly pressing A, then that'll be good. Nope. Nothing. Nothing this time, anyway. There is sleepy Pokemon appeared near Celadon City. Huh. Looks like we'll have to take care of that guy then, as well. And... Same Pokemon here as there were in that previous patch of grass. And I'm just gonna deposit a couple of items, just so then I have plenty of space in my inventory. Let's see... <laughs> One Pokeball. I can deposit that. Actually, I probably should just sell it. Depositing the Flash HM... TM30? Oh, I actually have tons of space. So never mind. I'll withdraw that Pokeball then. So then I can sell it. There we go, and... I think I'll buy a couple of items in the Saladon department store, which is a, re a very big place. This is the building, it's... I think six floors tall? Oh, hold on, I gotta make a phone call. Hello, I'd like to order a large pepperoni pizza with extra cheese, hold the mayo... No, I don't want an otter on it, are you crazy? How long do you think it'll take for it to be Ray? When I become a Pokémon Master? Oh, come on! That'll take longer than... than it, it'll take me longer to become a Pokémon Master than it takes to for you guys to make a pizza. Well, I know I'm not ordering pizza from those guys ever again. Uh, let's see. What's this person got to say? Oh, welcome to tell them to power... Bleh. I didn't even read that. The board on the right describes the store layout. Let's see. First floor service counter, second floor trainer's market, third floor TV game shop, fourth floor wise man gifts, fifth floor drugstore, rooftop square, vending machines. So yeah, six floors. Wrong items you should buy revived. Super Repel keeps weak Pokemon at bay. Hmm, it's a more powerful repel. So let's see just which items they have in stock here. They have TMs. I'm not gonna be buying any at the moment. Uh, let's see, Great Ball. I think I'll buy 10 of them. Considering now I actually can buy them. Uh, I think I'll buy a couple of Super Potions. Eight of them will be good. Considering I still have probably seven left in my inventory from the rock tunnel. So next... Oh, this guy gives you a TM. Oh, hi, I finally fished Pokemon. Not done yet? This might be useful. TM18. TM18 is counter. I like the one I'm leaning on, mind you. Uh, these guys are trading Pokemon, and... It's an SNES. This is the, uh game area. You can identify Pokemon you got in trades by their ID numbers. An RPG. There's no time for that. 
Well, with that bit of irony in tow, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Blue version. Hope you enjoyed!